gari continue babes whole meal is called yoko gari because you mix the gari with the beans and the plantains so it's yoko gari period well wouldn't it shouldn't be gary yoko because gary's his first name no, it's not. What is up, everybody? This week, I'm your favorite Christian, a.k.a. Christian and Anastasia. We are jumping into some Yoko Gary with beans. Yes. And it's going to be our baby boy's very first time having that African food. So stick around to see how that all turns out right now. Before we gonna jump into this food and what his response is, we gotta tell you how we got here. So, Check out Anastasia's magic. And Christian helping in the kitchen. Yeah, so, ish. And yeah, check that ish. out right now, and then we're gonna come right back to this food. I combined all, you know, the two parts together, the one that was over there on this side. This is how the beans is, you know, you have to make sure there's enough water. So it's all done and it's soft. Let me show you how soft it is. See, so it's easy to eat and then it'll be easier for Kwame as well. Of course, I added salt and, you know, just a little seasoning salt, just a tiny bit to kind of give it a flavor. Over here, palm oil, regular Conora, Conora, Conora. Canola? <laughs> or whatever oil you, you like to use to fry your stuff. Now over here, we have plantains. This plantain is having attitude problem because it's not all ripe, but we'll make it work because it's just three of us. And then we have this, and then this one also looking crazy. And over here, we will be blending the garlic, the ginger, the onions, some cilantro. I'm going to blend that. We are going to season our palm oil with that. So it is the Kwame's first time eating Gary with beans and avocado and eggs. I mean, he is eating good. You are eating good, baby B. You know, once in a while, you just gotta put your shorts on and, and stuff. Babe, bring that camera up. You don't have to see all this. Oil for frying, palm oil for the sauce. If you don't know much about palm oil, palm oil stains, especially when you have white cabinets and all that. So I always try to like transfer the oil, go, you know, and then everything else goes straight into the, into the sink. But if you've never used palm oil, we use palm oil a lot, you know, for spinach stew, for eggplant stew, for okra stew. The oil is a tat -ta, ta You know what the tat -ta, ta means? Tat -ta -ta -ta. The ta -ta -ta. We added a plantain and of course my oil is all foaming up because I fried plantain yesterday. I took over because Kwame is you know acting up. Here you're going to add the, the chopped onions to pour the garlic, the onion. You struggling? Then you're going to stir. You want me to stare at it? There. Stir. So stare at it. Move it around. Oh stir! <laughs> I thought you just want me to stare. You can have the same fun with me when I'm learning tree. But you have to like do it fast or else it burns. Because then if you don't do it fast, each one of them. Why don't I just put a glove on and use my hands? It doesn't work like that. Look at the two of us, just tag team. Load it, load it. I'm just gonna throw in these onions. I added season, okay? A little season to give it, you know, good taste. This is yakogari. That's how we call it, yakogari, yakogari. Mostly you buy this on the street, they wrap it in a leaf, it tastes so good. So it's all ready. Eggs are boiling, boiling, bo boring. <laughs> Don't put that. It's boiling. So Kwame's playing over there. So there's the technique how we eat this, okay? You can't just be putting things on top. Let, let me show you. So you're going to put your beans. I think the beans goes first. <laughs> Gary, like this. Then you're going to pull your sauce like this, like this, like this, like that, like this, like this, like that. And then you're going to mix it. Maybe we need more sauce, but we're not going to dump this whole. So you see like this, like this, like this, like that. So we're going to put that on one side for that presentation. So what does Gary think about all this food? Why is it named after a guy named Gary? It is not, it's Gary, the name of the grain that we add, the grain. Gary is really the guy who founded Ghana. And that's why they named the food after him. That's not true. 
We thank you so much for this food. We thank you so much for Kwame. We are you ready, baby boy? Are you ready to be wash our hands already? So we are going to dig right in. <laughs> you always asking, why doesn't Kwame wear a bib? This is called Yakogari. He makes the funniest faces when he first tries any food. I have no problem with Kwame trying out food. Why should I laugh at you, baby boy? Alright guys, so it's just after Easter. My sister, my brother-in-law, my nephews all came out. So we were going to do that. What is Kwame meeting his cousins for the very first time? But it just got done with Easter weekend in the church. That's like the Super Bowl of everything. So for the last two weeks, it's been non-stop. We have a lot of footage for that. So, so we much. need to edit through that first before we bring that to you. So uh -huh. stay tuned for that for the future week. Uh -huh. You're just crushing it. So I break the beans apart more for Kwame. You know there's a song that goes, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana. Indiana. Well, he is not the one that made this food, so we're just going to keep eating. <laughs> Let's talk about when your sister came. How excited were you when you when you knew you found out that your sister was coming? I, mean, I was really excited for Kwame to see some people besides Anastasia and myself. No, but then her kids, her kids got to play with Kwame. That was really cool. Kwame and his cousins were, were everything. Is this, is this Ghanaian food, mm -hmm. African food, West African food? This is Ghanaian food. But I also know the other part of West Africans eat this. I think Nigerians eat this as well. Do they call it Gary? Do Nigerians call this Gary? Or they call it Fred. All right, so where do you put this on your Ghanaian food list? Do you put this in your top five? So I'm gonna mix this for Kwame. Um, mix the egg yolk with a Gary. Um, oh yes, my top five. Really? Actually my top three or four. Come on. Because you know I love, I love beans. Yeah, Kwame eats eggs. He's not allergic to it. He's been eating it since he was six months old. Wait a minute, you 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 would put this higher than a mutu? Why would you like number two? Number one's gonna be fufu. Number one will be fufu and light soup, yeah. What about kinke? Oh yeah, kinke is there too. Oh. oh man. We're already at number four with this, see? Yeah, that's true. Oh, 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 sorry. Hey, who is your uh, biggest inspiration for food right now? My parents, my mom, my aunties in Africa. Na, 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 na. This is really like gritty. Like it's got a lot of texture and it's it's like sandy. This is your first time ever eating this. I think so. I feel like we went digging in the backyard and we dug up a bunch of Gary. I mean, it tastes good. It's very filling. I'm definitely gonna pass out after this. I think this is what you want to eat before you go and build a couple of skyscrapers. That's why this is like our main meal today. If you could uh, eat one kind of food that's not Ghanaian for the rest of your life, what would it be? What country? Can I have two countries? No. You know why that's tough? Because I love Jamaican food. I love Tanzanian food. I love Liberian food. I make this even harder for you. A non-African country. Indian food all the way. Beside African food. What other country of meal? And besides Lebanese food, meal, you love? Chicago. Chicago does have some of the best food in the entire world. It's got deep dish pizza, it's got really good thin dish pizza. Pizza is nice. It's got it's a not really Chicago good hot meal. dog, it's got the best Polish. But babe, I said what country? Oh, I know where I go. Duh. I go to Japan, I just do sushi. I would eat sashimi, sushi. Uh, I could eat I could eat sushi. If I eat sushi for the rest of my life, because sushi, I could do that. I'm not a huge sushi person. You don't like raw fish. No, mm -mm, I'm not about that life. And that's not my call. Well, it is. We crushed this food. We crushed, crushed it. this food. Mr. Gary, I want to thank you again from Ghana for creating this food for my wife to make. My son is in love with it. You guys need to subscribe to this like, channel. What is coming next, babe? You're gonna be checking out Kwame meeting his cousins yeah. for the very first time he's been in a pandemic. So subscribe and hit the bell so you always get the notifications. And but send check this, this video out. to all your family and friends. We're making a rush to 100,000 subscribers. So do that, help a, help a sister and a brother out and another brother out. I'm Christian, she's Anastasia, and we're gonna see you next Monday right here on Christian Anastasia. Peace. Peace.